friends, it's Miss Charlie here from Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and today I'm coming to you from my home. I thought it might be really nice to have a story time at home. You can have story times anywhere. It doesn't have to be at the library. It doesn't have to be in the classroom. Anyone can do it. You could even do a story time at home. You could do it for a dog, cat, uh, if you have a little baby brother or sister, even older siblings, neighbors. I mean, you could even paint a rock and read to that if you really wanted to. Honestly, I've been so bored. That sounds really good right about now. Anyway, I've really missed everyone and I would really, really, really love to read you a story today. First though, before we get started, you know that I always like to start with my hello song, just to kind of get us in the mood for stories. And I have one of my favorite tools here today. I have my handy dandy ukulele. So why don't we sing together? Here we go. We got that out of the way. Why don't we sing a song before we read our first book, just to help get us ready to read. And in order to do this song, we're gonna have to do two different hand motions. The first one, can you take your hands, make little circles, and put them up like this to make a pair of reading glasses? Can you make a pair of reading glasses? Good job. Now, can you take those and put them down right here? All right, that's our first hand motion. The second hand motion, can you take your hands and put them together to make a book? To make a book. Can you open that book, close that book, open that book and close that book? Those are gonna be our hand motions for this song. So here we go. These are our glasses, this is our book. We put on our glasses and open up our book. We read, 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 and we look, look, look. We put down our glasses and close up our book. Good job. You wanna try it one more time? Just a little bit slower? Okay, here we go. These are our glasses, this is our book. We put on our glasses and open up our book. We read, 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 and we look, look, look. We put down our glasses and close up our book. All right, good job. Are you ready to read a book now? I have a book for you. It's a very silly book, because I love silly books. And you know what, this is actually a book that you can sing, which I love to do as well. Reading and singing, I mean, really you're using the same skills. And when you sing, it kind of helps you sound out words in your mouth and different phrases and syllables. And I think that's a lot of fun. So the book that we're gonna read today is called Z is for Moose by Kelly Bingham. But wait a second. Is there something a little weird about this title? Z is for moose. Is Z for moose? Why don't we sound it out? Z moose, Z moose, is that right? No, that's not right. So why is this title called Z is for moose? Why don't we put on our listening ears and we can find out. Z is for moose by Kelly Bingham. For apple, a uh, a uh, apple. B is for ball, ba ba ball. C is for cat, ka ka cat. D is for moose, da da moose. Wait a second. Is D for moose? Well, oh, let's sound this out. Da moose, da moose. Is that right? Moose, no. Moose doesn't start with D. You're on the wrong page. Oh, okay. He says, oh, sorry. E is for elephant. Uh, uh, elephant. Look out, says the elephant. Oof. 
F is for fox. Fox. G is for glove. G -g glove. Is it my turn yet? Hmm. I don't know. What letter were we on? H. Is H for moose? Let's sound it out. Hummus. Hummus. Hmm. No, no, he's skipping in line again. No, Moose, now move off the page. I is for ice cream, uh, uh, ice cream. Now, oh, look, he's hiding behind the ice cream cone. No, not now. J is for jar, j, j, jar. Now, 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 mm, no. K is for kangaroo, k, k, kangaroo. Now, he says, oh, he keeps jumping in front of everyone. Let's see. And we got a little baby kangaroo that says, Mommy, who is that? L is for lollipop, la, la, lollipop. Wait a second, what comes after L? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Hmm. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It's his turn now. Let's see it happen. M is for mouse, ma, ma, mouse. Wait, what? No, that was supposed to be me, moose with an M. Uh-oh, looks like Zebra is in charge here. He's the referee of the book and he says, I'm sorry, we decided to go with Mouse this time. They skipped Moose's turn. How do you think that makes him feel? Uh-oh. How do you think that makes him feel? Uh-oh, he may be having a little bit of a temper tantrum here. Oh no, he just crushed OPQ. Oh wow, he's, he's derailing this book with his temper tantrum. R is for moose, er, er, moose. No, it's not. Look, he crossed out ring and he wrote in moose with a crayon. And he even took the ring and he drew in antlers and little legs. You're not fooling anyone, moose. That's not right at all. S is for moose, s, s, moose. No, no, stop it. Look, he crossed out snake and he wrote in moose with a crayon. And he even drew antlers on the snake and a little tail. No, no, S is not for moose. Stop it, you're ruining the book. T is for truck, t, t, truck. U is for umbrella, uh, uh, umbrella. Uh oh, and now Zebra is getting upset. He's trying to protect the page. V is for violin, v, v, violin. And let's see, up in the right corner, it goes, <laughs> a little sniffle. Who's, who's doing that? Hmm. W is for well, wh, wh, well. Oh, but what's, what's that in the corner there? Where did that come from? Was that the whale? Hmm. X is for xylophone, z, z, xylophone. Y is for yo-yo, yeah, yeah, yo-yo. Oh no, but look at that. Sitting at the end of the xylophone's moose, and he's going, boo hoo hoo. Is he crying? But why? Maybe because they skipped his turn and they went with mouse, and now he feels left out. So we have zebra here, and he goes and he taps on moose's shoulder and says, Um, moose, y you can be in the book if you want to be. Hmm. But moose says, I can't. It's too late. All that's left is Z, and Z is not for moose. Is Z for moose? Mm, let's sound it out. Z moose? Z moose? No. In fact, I think Z is for zebra. It's, it's finally zebra's turn. He's been waiting this whole time, and he was going to go last. He waited patiently. He let everyone else have their turn. Not like moose, who was skipping in line. But you know what? Zebra is friends with Moose, and he would really like to cheer him up because Moose is pretty upset. He's taking this very seriously. He says, 
come on, Moose. Let's see if we can make this work. Do you think he can make it work? Let's find out. Z is for zebra's friend, ma, ma, moose. Z is for zebra's friend, ma, ma, moose. Oh my goodness, they made it work. Zebra gave up his turn and gave it to Moose because Moose is his friend. That was a really, really nice, sweet thing to do. The end. Can I have a round of applause? A round of applause, a round of applause. All right, friends, that is all that we have for you for this story time. But please, please, please share with your friends. Read some good stories at home. It doesn't matter if you read it to a pet, to your parents, to an auntie, uncle, grandparents, a baby sibling, or even an older sibling. You could even read to your plants. Just make sure that you get out there and read. I'll see you next time. Bye. Inspiration. Mysterious. Reading is an adventure. My escape. Refreshing. Like a glass of water. Ah, relaxing. Bizarre. A warm hug. Awesome. Opportunity. Fundamental. Transformative. Reading is unforgettable. The Summer Reading Challenge. We're open. Check us out. <laughs>